Hey, welcome to this vision video for C3. Um, here are some super quick, super nice, easy questions that if they come up, you can just be really happy about. So these are the 10 questions here. Each of these are going to be worth uh, two marks um, and I expect you to be working at about a minute a mark. So what you can do is either watch this straight through, use it as revision, or pause here and have a go and try and do these questions yourself. So first of all, why didn't Newlyan's periodic table get accepted? Because there were no gaps in it. He assumed rather um, big headedly that everything that was going to be discovered had been discovered. It was a bit mixed up. So things that had different um, properties were in the same group as each other and he had metals and non-metals together. So this is going to be really quick so I'm just going to storm through this. These are going to be the things that are going to get you main marks. So what do alkali metals do when they react with water? So we are going to see heat given off it is an exothermic reaction and we are going to see hydrogen gas given off. So, ions from which group cause water to be hard? It is group 2 of the periodic table. Examples are going to be calcium and magnesium. So, one mark if you've got group 2, one mark if you gave me some examples. What is the difference between scale and scum? Scale is the hard stuff you get in the bottom of your kettle. Scum is going to be the uh, residue that you get after washing your hands, um, and it's uh, it's it's not hard; it's uh, soft. What are endothermic and exothermic reactions? So hopefully you are familiar with this from uh, C two endothermic. Feel cold. They take. Oh, it take in energy and exothermic feel hot and they give out energy one mark for each of those why is hydrogen called a clean fuel because the only um, product is water Which means not only um, no carbon dioxide, it means no sulfur dioxide. Um, so it's not going to be a greenhouse gas, it's not going to contribute to global warming or um, acid rain. So give the flame colours for lithium, sodium, potassium, calcium and barium. If this comes up, um, like most of these, these are absolutely fantastic questions because all you have to do is remember things. Um, there's no understanding going on here. It's just quick, sharp remembering things. So um, lithium gives a crimson flame. Sodium gives a yellow flame. Potassium gives a lilac flame. Calcium gives a red flame. And barium gives a green flame. So how do you test for halide ions? You need to add dilute nitric acid and then you need to add silver nitrate. And the results are going to be um, chlorine gives a white precipitate Bromine gives a cream precipitate and iodine gives a yellow precipitate. So I wasn't expecting um, examples, but for each of your marks you need to tell me the two things that were going to be added. 
the symbol for a reversible reaction simply looks like this and there are a number of examples you could have given but the most common example in um, C3 is the example of ammonia production that I'm giving here. And lastly, the functional group for an alcohol is simply this. Um, so you can have two marks for doing that. Um, you should know that methanol looks like this with its uh, one carbon. Ethanol has two carbons. And propanol has three carbons. So, well done. Every bit of revision helps. Um, these questions, if they come up, are really, really good questions because all you have to do is remember a few simple facts. Um, add up your marks. Uh, give yourself a percentage and a grade. Great work, well done. Um, let me know in the comments below how you get on. Thanks for watching. I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.